What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different, it's not gonna be a vlog as you can see. In today's video we're going to talk about German culture shocks from an American living in Germany. That's me. So, let's get into today's video. First, let's start off with the people here in Germany. They are very closed off here. Compared to like American. Yeah, compared to like an American, where yeah. we are very talkative and we're very open people. Yeah, very. It starts with like at the grocery store where in America they'd be like, hey, how are you doing? You know, and in Germany. Oh, like friendly. <laughs> yeah, super friendly. And, you know, even if it's fake or not, you know, not like genuine or whatever, it comes up very friendly. Yeah, well, in Germany you only get like a cold little like guten tag, like hi, basically, and that's it. And you just keep on going with your day. They don't like back and forth conversation. It's like unnecessary to them. So, yeah, that's not that that doesn't happen. Like, very rare that you actually end up in a conversation with somebody where you like at the grocery store or at some cafe or bakery or that they actually like start a conversation with you. Hello or good talk and, and you get your stuff, whatever and you then, need. And then choose and then buy and that's it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's not 100% bad because like I'm very to myself and like I don't need to have a conversation with somebody but like for... It's good for private people. Yeah, like, for so like private like, people. If you like to be low key and you like to be left alone and people minding their business, that's good because yeah. people aren't going to talk to you <laughs> They'll like start a conversation. Mm -hmm. And also since in Germany people are very closed off, it's a big thing like if you come from America to Germany or whatever, it might be very difficult for you to like find friends or make friends or find a, you know people in general like a group to hang out with because of the fact that people are closed off and people who are already they're from here or whatever they have their friend group they're not very open and they're not gonna like you know if you go out in america whatever you make friends like this like people are so open and i don't know i made like friends like very easily in America. Well, in Germany, you have your friends from school back in the day or from <laughs> work, and that's it. Yeah. Like, you don't go out and make a ton of new friends. Yeah, you can't go to a bar here and just expect to have a yeah. best friend after you. That's not going to happen. Yeah, that is not going to happen. Also, when you come to Germany, you would notice that people do not break even the smallest rules here. Like, even crossing the street at a red light, there will be no cars here. There will be like a little, like, Cotton, the, what is it called? Like the cotton bush? Like you ever saw like the old western movies and they had like the little bush weed passing by? Like there will be no cars coming and they will not cross the street until. Oh, like when there's like nothing on yeah, like, yeah, the, like yeah. the Wild West? Yeah, something. like the Wild West. You see, it will literally be like yeah. that and nobody will literally cross. Literally earlier when we, we came from um, the gym or whatever and we crossed the red light and it was nothing. Like it was late at night. And it was this one person on the bike just staying in a red light. And like we just, it sounded so awkward because we just passed them and we just walk over the street and they still wait. They will still the wait. They will I mean, I'm German and, and um, I'm not saying like I cr cross every red light. Like at the big cross streets, I understand. I like don't like to go over red because I'm just like, there's so many different uh, directions where cars could come from out of like mm -hmm. a blind side. Where I'm like, okay, it makes sense. You know, I'm just, I'd rather wait than like risk to uh, go over red light just to be quick. But like, if there's nothing, <laughs> no traffic, nothing, you can cross. It's okay. You can do it. Me as a German, I'm telling you right now, you can do it. And, and you can. You're not going to go to jail. The next one you should know when you come to Germany or plan on living here or visiting is recycling. It's a big thing here. Like mm -hmm. we recycle. Like he has to learn, like we have like different things we throw in different bags and in different dens outside. Like. Plastic is separate, um, carton. Car uh, uh, cardboard. Paper, like cardboard is yeah. different. Um, glass, we have glass containers where glass mm -hmm. goes in. So all of that is separate recycled. Yeah. But the, and, and, and in America, you just throw everything in one thing. Yeah, you can do it. Like we have recycling, but it's not to this level in this standard. Yeah, I think it's not like really a rule. Like yeah, it's, it's not, not like you have to recycle. If you want to and you do it, yeah, it's good. Yeah, but yeah. here it's really like, you have, we have different bins. We have different colors of trash bags where I have to be honest, I don't know exactly <laughs> every trash bag is like a, a different meaning for different things like card, cardboard and plastic and all that stuff. But I do my best with recycling <laughs> like what I can. But um, yeah, we, if you throw out glass, a lot of times you don't even have a glass container where you live at your house. You have to walk yeah. or drive to it and then you throw out your glass there. And yeah. also the glass, different color glass. Yeah, it's <laughs> so like the, insane. Like yeah. there's white containers, green containers, a brown container, I think. And um, the different glass of what you have, whatever 
um, the color goes in a different. And but at least with like plastic bottles, you could take it to a grocery store and you can get a decent amount of money to change back, and you can like actually do groceries with the plastic bottles. Hey, it's like a win-win. Like so whenever yeah. you're about to go grocery shopping, you put your plastic bottles back into like the machine. You get a little coupon, and then when you check out at a checkout, they scan it, and it goes off of your price for what your groceries would yeah. be. Or if you decide, you can just get it and get the money from it. Next one is the cigarette smoking here in Germany slash Europe. It's insane. But I, when we came back from like New York now here to Germany, I didn't even realize how many people here smoke cigarettes. Like the cigarette smoke is mm -hmm. everywhere. It's getting blown in your face everywhere. Like when you sit down in a cafe, like. Especially in the summertime, you really you like we have a lot of times of issues because I'm saying like I don't want to sit out there or whatever because you're gonna have somebody next to you obviously because mm -hmm. people that sit outside uh, want to smoke cigarettes most most of them and you're gonna have definitely somebody smoking your food yeah everywhere like, like um, blowing their cigarettes smoke maybe intentional maybe unintentional uh, in your direction yeah. or the wind is just blowing it into your direction yeah. so I hate eating outside <laughs> and like summertime like if you go to a restaurant or something because you 99% of the time you're gonna have somebody mm -hmm. smoking next to you and you're going to smell the cigarette smoke and cigarette smoke is just so strong like you smell it from I don't know how many freaking mm -hmm. feet away like miles away like miles. It's, it's not like it's just older people it's like a lot of younger Oh yeah, teenagers. Teenagers, they smoke. Start, we, we start early here <laughs> but at least one good thing is that it got, got banned a few years ago, it got banned mm. that it is allowed to smoke inside of restaurants and stuff. So thank God, because that was bad. Like even inside, it would stink like cigarettes and your clothes would smell like cigarettes, mm -hmm. but it's not allowed anymore to smoke inside of restaurants. So people have to be outside and smoke their cigarettes. So that's a good thing. But in the summertime, when you want to sit outside, well, then you just have to deal with it. Yeah, but like in America, we don't really have that much because like in America, we don't really have outside seating at cafes like that. A little bit has changed since COVID because a little bit more outside seating, but it's still not common to see like a ton of people smoking cigarettes outside, outside of a cafe and stuff. So yeah, it's a slight difference. So the next one is an important one. You should know when you come from America to Germany, it is everything is closed on Sundays yeah everything no shopping ever. the only thing that might be open is like when you are near train station a few little shops are open there mm -hmm. or the baker uh, the bakery is open but only till like 1 p.m yeah. and that's it so you have to go there very early and everything else um groceries and everything is closed yeah you, you can't would, get anything you have to do all your grocery shopping either on friday or saturday to know that you're not getting anything on sunday you might have like a few restaurants that might be open on Sunday, like, but not, don't expect like a ton. So like, you just have to know your spots to go to, but like everything is closed. So like, you just gotta be aware of that. There was a big shock for me. Cause I was like in New York, everything is open 24 mm seven. -hmm. So like coming here and everything's closed on. Yeah, he, did, he never understand. Like we have to do our grocery shopping on Friday. Usually I like to do it on Friday because Saturday is where people, all the people yeah. usually get their groceries because of the fact that Sunday everything is closed and there's a lot of people impact on Saturday. So I like to do my grocery shopping on Friday and then we're good for the weekend because the next time everything going to yeah. be like, it's like gonna You will see Sunday. everybody and a mama on Saturday. Yeah. Doing everything on Saturday because everything Saturday, Saturday is like the most packed day to like do anything. Yeah, Sunday if it's nice weather, you see everybody bike riding everywhere. It's like a day you just sit out and do nothing. But like yeah, yeah. Sundays are really like the quiet. Well, Sunday here is supposed to be like the the rest day. Like, Zen. The, like <laughs> that's like where nothing like everybody is off. Everybody yeah. is like it's like the um, before they go to work on Monday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just a very quiet day. Just yeah. know that. Next, we're gonna go over the tipping in restaurants, which is good for me because you don't have to tip much here. Actually, like in America, you have to tip. Like, because mostly waiters and waitresses in America they make their basic wage off of the tips, and that's why you need to tip handsomely, like ten percent, maybe more, twenty. But I feel like nowadays, even like what I've seen so far and what I've heard is like the tipping amount in America is just going on. Yeah. Like I saw a video where a lady uh, wanted to do some service and whatever, and they expected a crazy tip from They expected such a crazy tip from her. And she didn't even get, she was like in a spa or something. Mm -hmm. And she didn't even get the um, service yet. So you don't even know <laughs> if it would good or not. Yeah. And they expected already a tip from her. It was like an $80 something um, massage or whatever. 
and I expect a twenty dollar tip. That's insane. If you mm -hmm. go here to a spa or something, whatever, like you get a facial and you pay eighty euro, you, don't you pay eighty euro. Yeah, you, you don't, don't tip. That, that's like they get they get they get paid. Like they yeah, get paid yeah, from yeah. their job. It's not. Of course, you can get like a. I don't know. You can get a tip if you think that person was great and amazing yeah. and. They did such a good job. Of course, we would like give a, you know, a little underneath, yeah. whatever, like a little tip, but like they don't expect it. And it's just not, and it's also not bad if you don't do it. Like yeah. it's not, they don't take it personally here. It's, it's just not a thing. So in restaurants, you can basically just tip a euro, two euros, three euros. You don't have to tip like 10 to 15 bucks. Like you do in Three euros already. Like, yeah. Good tip. tip. Like yeah. A good tip here. Like the other day, I wanted to tip like five bucks. She's like, you don't have to do that. So. Yeah, you, I mean, it's really, you don't have to. That's like yeah. a lot. Like five, they would be like, like really? Thank you, sir. Like, 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 <laughs> so yeah, that's like definitely a big difference. Yeah. Like it is crazy when you come from a culture that is such a big on tipping. I guess that's good for German people when Americans come to visit because they're always gonna get probably a good tip from yeah, the yeah. people. Yeah. But um you don't have to. Another thing you should be aware of when you come visit Germany or plan on living here is people don't pack your groceries. You are going to be rushed to pack your groceries at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You're not playing around. It goes like ding, 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 ding. Like, and, and, and the you, thing is small. And when you're alone, like when you're alone, you have to pack, like nobody can pack your groceries. You have to pack your groceries by yourself. So mm -hmm. the cashiers are so quick. So I get so annoyed with it sometimes. I'm like, damn, like you, do, you got no time. And the line is long. And people the next just watching customer is already <laughs> behind you and the lady is like scanning your yeah, stuff and you have, to, you have to pay and then you have to rush through to your groceries pack your groceries the next person already mm -hmm. they have like two lines and the um usually like two like a thingy Sessions. that separates so you have not even packed your groceries yet and then they switch that thingy where then the groceries from the yeah. next person behind you go to the other lane next to you and so, and then that custom is like, yeah, it's and a rush. And everybody so just so you watching. know, it's like, and then you have to pack your groceries. So it's always good if you go with your partner. So one can pay, one can already pack the groceries. And yeah, and it's easier. Yeah. Like it's already done, you can just walk out because everybody in line would just watch you like hurry up. And then yeah, it's like, it's, like <laughs> you feel, it's just like, it shouldn't be like that and you should not care, but I usually, yeah try to be the calm myself and just like be like whatever like i'm gonna take like i'm not on purpose take my time yeah, but like, doing as fast as i can like and but also still like taking my time just because she scans every item so super like quick and then say you have to buy a bag there and then open it up too like sometimes you be oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't open the bags they don't you have open to, like, it. the paper bags are like, like folded you have to open yeah you gotta open it stuff and so yeah that's oh, always whole just mess. be prepared that's you gonna see. And this also goes with like shopping and stuff in general. Like there's no taxes whatsoever. Like in America, we have like at least a ten dollar tax or eight eight uh, extra charge on top of what you purchase. So say you purchase like a shirt at Zara or something, and it's like twelve bucks. It's gonna be twelve bucks. You're not gonna expect like an extra five dollars plus on top of it at the checkout. Which yeah, is like, that, that that always confused me in America. Like yeah. I was every time. I would like in my head already calculate what I bought, whatever at the grocery store. And at the end, it's a totally different amount. I'm like, <laughs> that was like, wait a minute. And then obviously I learned while living there for a while that, you know, it's like yeah, the taxes yeah. that you always have on top. And here it's just, you buy something for $2, it's gonna be $2, mm -hmm. like a two euro. Yeah. So the price that you see on the item is the, the price, price that you will have to pay at the checkout. checkout. Which is not bad. And the last one is gonna have to be the protests in Germany that we have. Mostly the train protests from, well, there's a specific company. You will have a lot of times trains and buses strike and not going. So at the moment, there's a lot of times, I've, I don't know, we, I haven't been in Germany that, yeah. like for a while, so I don't know how often that actually happens, but recently it's been happening a lot. Like just recently, two days, yeah. like Thursday, Thursday Friday. Friday. No buses, no trains. So if you have to go to work and you don't have a car, that's gonna be tough. You have to figure something out get to get city. to work because there's no bus and no train. And that happens a lot. Yeah, oh, like a ton. So like you really have to check the news before you step always, yeah. out, yeah. They sometimes, obviously when you, well, one time we didn't know. We will stay yeah, yeah. the station we just, we and waiting. a lady came by and was like, uh, the bus not going today. And so we like, oh, we didn't yeah, even know. Yeah, we had to walk all the way yeah. to the city, but it, at least it wasn't that far, but it was yeah. a little annoying. So. so be prepared, a lot of us and 
need stress. All right, guys, we hope this video got you some insights of Germany and what to expect and prepared you a little bit for whenever you plan on visiting mm -hmm. or moving. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us push out these videos to more and more people and help inform them of our channel. So, And also leave a comment if if you ever been to Germany and if you have ever like, if you noticed anything else, like any um, big cultural difference that you noticed when you have been to Germany yeah. before, I would like to know. See you next week. See you next week and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.